the castle doctrine is actually a really old common law doctrine. And the basic idea um, is that if through no fault of a person's own, they're attacked in their home, they don't have a duty to retreat before they use self-defense. St. Mary's law professor Alexandra Klein says the idea behind the doctrine is that your home is your castle. And so you don't have to retreat before you protect yourself. The castle doctrine in Texas provides people the legal right to self-defense when in a private space. Klein says property defense is slightly different from self-defense. People are allowed to use force to protect property. Um, the issue often comes with the kind of force people use. And in Texas and in other jurisdictions, the law usually doesn't let people use deadly force to protect their property, <clears throat> except in certain limited situations. Just this week alone, there have been two incidents involving Apple AirTags being used to track down stolen vehicles and vehicle owners taking matters into their own hands. Klein says the Castle Doctrine wouldn't exactly apply in these cases. The law generally doesn't permit the use of deadly force to recover one's property if, if you've sort of tracked it down over a period of time. Um, a person can use force um, it sort of it, the Texas statute says sort of an immediate pursuit, uh, but that that word immediate does a lot of work, right? It's it's sort of happening right then and there. So the castle law typically refers to situations when you are inside your home. However, the law would certainly protect the use, um, would determine that force is reasonable if you're inside your vehicle and someone is trying to break in, that your use of force might be presumed reasonable as long as you satisfy the other criteria. In any event, San Antonio police advise the community not taking matters into their own hands and say file a report right away with a clear description of your vehicle. They add they have the necessary resources to help and recover stolen property. Jonathan Cotto, KSET 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.